warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the Modern Muslim Project. And I'm Nick. I'm Nas. Alright, so our third question on dress parenting is, Saza, strict or compassion? Which is better? Hmm, to be strict or to be compassionate? Anytime, I would say compassionate followed by strict. Okay, you cannot choose one only. It doesn't work. Being a parent, in parenting, you need to have this both. Which one first? I would say compassion followed by strict. I would like to bring an example eh, for all of us to, to, to reflect upon. When we teach our children about Allah, what are the things that we teach our children? Most of the time, I grew up with this notion around me. Eh? My environment will always be like, tak semayang kan? You don't pray, jahannam. Okay. Eh, you tell lies that eh? Allah will cut your tongue. Okay. If you do this, Allah will be very angry with you. Okay. So, indirectly, we are brainwashing the children into understanding Allah as an angry God. Yeah. As if it's not enough, there's angry bird, there's angry God. Okay. While that is true, while punishment is true, Jahannam is true, I'm not saying that don't teach your children all that. While all that is true, I think that should come at a later part, at a later stage. The first stage should be teach our children the love that Allah has on His creation. And we know that Allah loves His creation so, 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 so much. Okay? A mother who says that she loves her child times that by 70 times. Allah loves His creation 70 times than a mother loves her child. Okay? So, teach our children the mercy of Allah, the compassions of Allah, the love of Allah. He is al wadud He is loving, He is kind. Teach our children all the positiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that it is important for our children to know, do not incur the, the, the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, when we nurture and raise our children, we need to exercise compassion. We need to exercise empathy. But having said that, I'm not saying that we don't have to scold our children. Whenever needed, we have to be strict. We have to scold. Uh, I have belt somewhere here in this house. Okay? But but you need to know when to use it and how to use it. Okay? Don't report me for uh, apa, uh, child abuse pula, okay? But... but Anytime, if you ask me this question, anywhere, I would say compassion followed by being strict to your child. Mm, what about you? What, what is your opinion on that? Like? I, I believe you need to connect first with your children. Mm. Then only you can introduce to the rules and regulation. Okay, if there's connection, whatever said, inshallah will be absorbed and accepted by yourself. Correct, correct. And, yeah. and connection, it has to be done with love because I believe whatever comes from your heart, it will go back to the heart as well. But if you are, if you are trying to um, establish the connection and telling them that you, are, you have the upper hand, ego and all that, I don't think that would ever work in, in, in anybody, not even your child. It, it cannot work with any, mm. anyone else. Okay? So, yeah, I would like to reiterate this. Compassion followed by knowing when to be strict with your children. Which one first? I would say compassion followed by strict. The first stage should be teach our children the love that Allah has on His creation. Similarly, when we nurture and raise our children, we need to exercise compassion. But having said that, I'm not saying that we don't have to scold our children. Thank you everybody for watching. We sincerely hope that you have benefited from this in one way or another. So, remember to share this video if you like it on your social media platform, be it on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. There are strong signs and said, if you show somebody to goodness, okay, you will also reap the same rewards. And if you are new, remember to hit the subscribe button. Masalama!